Guess what? I'm here with Dr. Katja, and we're going to be talking about the thyroid. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you so much. So glad to be here. Oh, I'm just so excited. All right, so here's the big question. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Why is the thyroid so important? Thyroid is an amazing organ, just as any other. Um, the thyroid really is important because it's responsible for the metabolism in the body. So okay. every single cell really needs the thyroid hormone to regulate the metabolism. And then it's a part of the bigger picture and of the endocrine system, so it's actually part of the whole as well. So can you, like you know how you can go with um, sometimes one kidney, and mm -hmm. can you go without a thyroid? You can go without a thyroid, but it's only because we have hormones now. So people that had their thyroids removed, they have to be on basically long-term thyroid replacement. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is the most common type of thyroid problems today? Usually it's hypothyroidism. That means that the function of the thyroid gland is lowered and it works less than it should in a way, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And what is the proper way to test for, for thyroid levels? Because I know that um, conventional doctors test a different way. And Correct. so I would love to know how on the natural side that you test for this? Correct. So the really the thyroid panel should consist of the TSH, which most people really get done by the conventional doctor, okay. but also the actual thyroid hormone. Oh, because okay. the TSH is the hormone of the pituitary controlling the thyroid, so it's only half of the picture. And then w when we test the T3 and T4, that's actually the thyroid hormone that we're testing. Okay. So the three together is really the most important. And then if we can, then the free form, you mean the one that's actually the active form. Okay. So free T3, free T4, TSH. Okay. Oh, wow. That's the best test. That's and, very and comprehensive. And so what does that show you? It actually shows me so very often, you know, the TSH can be low and it can be very low. So I have people come in with low TSH that are actually put on thyroid hormone. However, it could just be that the pituitary gland is low. So instead of supporting the thyroid right away, we would wake up and support the pituitary. Okay. Because if the TSH is low and the thyroid hormones are perfect, it's not a, there is no need to put a thyroid hormone in the body right away. Interesting. So it's more regulating the bigger picture. Okay, mm -hmm. so what can we do to maintain thyroid health? Okay, so a lot can be done, but really nutrients. Thyroid, as any other organ, needs nutrients. Okay. So we all know iodine for thyroid, mm -hmm. zel zel uh, selenium, and zinc. So, so iodine, iodine selenium, selenium, and zinc, and zinc are the main ones. Wow. And really, so fresh, organic fruits and vegetables, whole, you know, whole food, plant-based diet, supporting the thyroid that way. Seaweed. Okay. So. Food. I know that uh, when we had the scare with uh, Japan mm -hmm, and their nuclear, you mm -hmm. know, everybody was out buying uh, potassium iodide, yes. right? Is that the same type of iodine that you would use for the thyroid? Actually, if the iodine is low, and then it's, so what I would do if the thyroid levels come back off or low, mm -hmm. so then we would test iodine also, and if that comes back low, then we would support the iodine such as in the form of the potassium iodide, that's a good way to support it. Okay. But if you just want to do just a basic support of nutrients, then from food would be just enough. From food mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Now,